So um, I would say first to make sure everyone's kind of warmed up. Have you, you've already walked and trot and you've got on the trail. You've already warmed up in the upper arena as well as here. And Alyssa has been doing this just a little bit. So it's sort of like you see this as a half circle right here. And we're going to here, this is a wonderful arena because we have the walls. So we can stop at the walls. So as you come around the corner, there's a couple of nice spots to stop at. So it's essentially as we're coming out around a corner, we're turning 45 degrees a little bit toward the wall and saying the word ho and letting the wall stop our horse. Then we're back one step, one leg's gonna go up into the armpit and turn our horse with a little tapping in the armpit. So if we give little taps way forward in the armpit, then we get our, our, our little roll back on the wall. So this end is gonna be reserved for people trotting circles. So we can trot circles here. And then down here, what you're gonna do is we're gonna practice one at a time, do some turn backs, okay? On that side there and start off. And go right down the wall. No, don't do it again because he's getting so he knows the pattern. So after you do it like five, six times, then it's a good idea. Just trot on down. There. Good. And every now and again, give your horse a little release. Does he get a little fast for you sometimes? Does he trot really fast? Yeah. And that's right, turn your toe. That's right. No, you're turning toward the wall. And you're not going to pull the rein, however. You're going to back your horse. You're going to use your left leg in front of the girth. Bump, 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 bump. Now go ahead and trot. Trot, 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 trot. Turn the corner. And then stop. Turn toward the wall at M. That's it. Now lift your hands. Back a little bit. Turn your toe out on my side. Turn it out there. And bump, 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 bump. Back him. No, back him. Don't. Do you see how you're starting to pull that rein? Otherwise, what happens on the cows is we start doing this, and then he can't see the cows anymore if I turn his head. If I can take my leg and turn him with my leg, I can keep him looking at the cows. So really, you know, I know he has this beautiful English leg. What we're going to do is you're going to take that toe and turn it out. Turn it there. Now put it forward. There, and give bumps right there, okay? Back him up, though. Stop. Back her. Leg in front. Back as you back. The leg, 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 and sweep her with the leg. Make the leg turn her. That's it, not the rein. And push forward. Good job. Good. Nice. Right around the corner. And then stop facing him. Back a step. Turn toward the wall. Bump, bump, bump with this leg. Let the leg do it. Take your time. Back up, back up. That's right. Back a step. And just as you're backing, use your right leg. Don't look at me, look around the corner, look to your left. Bump, 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 left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg, left leg. That's it. Let her feel that left leg a little bit and figure it out. So it'll take her a little while. So get, go ahead. Good. Because we don't want to turn her by pushing her through the turn. And get closer to the wall and halt back and use your right left leg in front. Bump, 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 bump. Let go of the rein. Leg, 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 leg. Leg, 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 leg. Good. Now get closer to the fence as you go around the corner. A little closer to the wall. Ready, and halt. That lift up, back, and right leg in the armpit. That's right, in the girth. Bump, 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 And then ask her to go forward. Good. I go straight down the long side so she doesn't figure out what the pattern is. That's it, Ren. Try to get him right back on the track again. So he comes off your, and, and go ahead and drop your stirrups and see if they're the right length. Good, Ren. Will you move, your, move him over, get him back over. Use your leg more if you can. So, Ren, I want to see your leg come back when you're trying to push him back to the wall because you're trying to push his haunch over without him speeding up. So move him off the wall without speeding up. Off the wall. Good. Now back on the wall again without speeding up. Use your right leg. Pulse, 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 pulse. That's it. Good. Good. Now as we're going down the next chance, we're on the long, oh, nice. That must have felt really nice. Good. Now as you go down the next long side, we're going to be S stopping in a moment, back, and you're going to pivot 90 degrees across the arena. Wait till everyone's going. Get a nice trot, trot, trotting, trotting, trotting. Keep Elvis going. Pivot. Go straight across the arena. This time go the opposite direction. So that time you're... So you're going left this time. Is that right? Going to the left. 
and pick up a trot, get them moving forward, sit, straight, ready to stop, ready, set, ooh, back, pivot, straight across the arena, this time we're going to go to the right when we get across the arena, across the arena, turning right, good, good, so Max can go right on out, we want a working trot, so that's why we're posting, easier on their back at a working trot, Working, working, get a nice rhythm going. Preparing ourselves to halt. Ready, set, boom. Back, pivot, and go straight across. Going left, going left. I'm gonna get my middle of you guys there. Go right around the corner. So as you go around the corner, keep your impulsion going in your horse. Change your diagonal, Denise. Good. Ready, set, boom. Back, pivot, and across the arena. Good. And stop in the middle. Back a step. And then tag off on your horse and just let him stand. Good. Now, um, most of them were stopping very nicely today. Do you feel like they're getting a better picture of what to do? That's good. Um, and what I was going to suggest too sometimes is I'll ask to go sideways forward. Sideways forward. And then it's like, thanks. So I, I, I pulse it with it like he's stepping. I go pulse, release. Pulse, release. So I'm asking for the sideways every time he steps. But every time he steps sideways, I come off a little bit. So sometimes it's a more of a dressage thing too. So what that aid is doing, instead of putting the aid on and just leaving it on, and I'm not saying you do this, but I'm just saying something to think about when we're asking, especially your mayor, Pertrons on some of these, she has a strong neck, she's a strong horse, and she has certain opinions, right? So she's going to really appreciate every time you ask her to do something and then you release. So you say, go move sideways, I want your ribs to move to the outside, and then you, you, you come off on your aid. It's kind of like saying, push, okay, thank you. Push, she moves, and you say thank you. So it's a, a and the other way you to think of it is timing your aid to her footfall. So that every time she's striding out, you're saying step further that side. Step over that side. And so you're, I call it almost a pulse, or instead of an, a, a, timing your aid to the, the horse's footfalls. So as you have a good feel of your horse, and you're a really nice rider, your leg's in a nice position. And the weird thing here is we're here and here, and then when I want to leg yield over, what generally happens, and this is where I was saying your, your bay did so well just now because a lot of times they want to push their shoulders like this, they, well, sorry, they want to go sideways like this. This is different than this, which is different than this. So this one, I'm really pushing his haunch over and he has to use more of his body. And most of the horses are a little bit on the lazy side, so they'll leg yield like this. And I see she's stepping, he's stepping over the front legs, but not his back, if you notice that. So I'll try to turn the corner. So sometimes we watch a horse. So here, his fronts are going over. Now as I get his haunch, do you see how he walks over all the way? This is harder for a horse. And I have my leg back, I'm going pulse, 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 pulse. Do you notice how he collects up as he does it too? So it's a collecting exercise to ask in the leg yield, okay? So when we're leg yielding, this next time we'll just do a little bit more of it. Think of getting their haunch over more than their shoulders. And you don't have to leg yield very far. If you come off the rail, just off the path and then back on again, when I'm coming off the rail, I'm thinking, this side is my cow. Does that make sense? So I'm shaping my horse and taking the haunch over. And then when I get halfway down, then I'll go back over. Now you don't have to go this far. Like I said, all you need to do is go over and I'm pulse, pulse, pulse. I don't know if you can see my legs. It looks like it's a steady move. But, so does that make sense? We just come off, do it just on the long side, come off and then go back on and really work on just getting the haunch. And you did that with your horse today. How'd that feel good? So you can you see the difference in what's happening under you? And Ren, why don't you turn around, go in the front of the line, go to the left. Do a, actually, just do a circle, because you missed the front. That's okay. Good. I didn't give you enough time. There you go. Now you got more room. Good. And just on the other direction, because 
coming off the wall, get their haunch off. Think of pushing your outside leg into your inside rein, and then as you go back there, nice. And we know how much we need this when we're riding on cows, don't we? Nice. Good. Now as we go down the next long side, Liz, get ready to do a stop. Just a rock back to pivot across the arena. So get it faster, a little faster, just before we say who. Back, pivot, turn right. Did you guys figure out who's pushing? Okay, Denise, why don't you do the rating and push with Leo? Good. Oh, sorry, Ren. I did that last week too. So go ahead and Leo's, uh, Ren's going to push. That's right, stay right with the shoulder. Good, Denise. It sure helps to watch other people, doesn't it? There you go. Good, Denise. Your reins are really, really long. Try to shorten up as you go. Good. So you need to get further away. You need to get Elvis, use your left leg to push Elvis away. Because he needs to be able to look at the cow so you can't pull your right rein. That's right, there, good. That's where you need to be. So before you start, always have your reins where you want them. Now let Ren go right behind it. Ren, make a little bit of noise. Hit your leg, say, hey cow, get, get, get. Denise, don't go further any further forward. Wait for the pivot. Pivot, pivot. Pivot again, pivot, pivot. Don't get closer, pivot. There, I want you to be no closer than this light, that fluorescent light. We get away from that cow. That's right, use your left leg and stop there. Don't get any closer, stop. You're just gonna pivot, don't get closer. Go forward under the fluorescent lights and wait for Ren to push it around the corner. Wait for the cow. Pivot with the cow. Now go down here, use your left leg so Elvis does not get closer. Be ready to stop, be ready, stop. Back a step, sit down when you stop. There you go, forward again. Good, right up to the shoulder. Don't get any closer now. They will kind of shut down when you're right on top of them. They don't see a place to go. Back, that's right, good. Um, Ren, did you have a reason to turn around? Sorry. We don't want to turn our bum to the cow if we can avoid it. Let's get this cow going. So you can go ahead and try that a little bit. He's kind of more nosy, isn't he? There. I like what your mare is doing right now. She's going, go cow. Her ears go back just a little bit as she says, get on cow. Get on cow. Get right into that corner. Yes. Good. And herd that cow right through. Now, don't let Elvis get too close to the cow. That's it. So the cow has an open path in front of it. The whole time you're trotting, you're thinking, I might need to stop, right? The whole time you're trotting, you might hurry up and then stop. Good, right there, slow down and let the cow catch up to you as it goes around the corner, because you're pivoting. You're like the wheel in the center of the wheel and it's going around the outside. That's it, good, Ren. I know your horse is looking at something outside the arena. There, good. Good, nice. Good, keep Elvis there, be ready to, to stop and then go again. And be ready to stop so your shoulders are forward and balanced. Good, and you rock back Denise, that helps that cow to go, doesn't it? This one's a little bit on the slow side, isn't it? Stay there. We're going to do a trade here now, so we're going to stop. There. Now Ren is going to go in front of the cow to turn it around. So you move, no, no, don't, don't turn your back to the cow. Right here. So you, right here. So yeah, come over here. So you don't want to start walking all over. You want to go this way to the front of the cow. No, no. Because otherwise you, you're going to turn and walk away and you, you want your horse to stay looking at the cow the whole time. That's it, good. So bring her on up. Stay with your cow. So you stay looking at the cow. Just go past the cow, that's it. Past the cow and turn and face the cow. That's it, good. 
He's looking, this is a nosy little cow. Go right to the wall with your horse. There you go. Now go in front of the cow again. So leg yield around. Turn toward the cow. There, turn that cow around. Good. Now again, go in front of the cow. This is good. We don't want it any faster than this. So go right to the front of the cow. Face the cow. Turn that cow around. There, it's like it's trained now. Go outside the shoulder of the cow. Good, push with your right leg. Face the cow. Turn that cow around and push it that way. That's it. Now stop, back, take your course off. That was excellent. Good. Now you're going to go up next to the cow. You're going to bring Elvis and you're going to push that cow. This cow is a little slower. You're going to be next to it. You're going to be rating now. Don't, don't, don't turn your back to the cow though, if you can. There you go. Sorry. We're just, you know, you're going to be the inside job. Or you're going to keep your shoulder to the cow. So go ahead, Denise. And Ren, just rotate, just pivot shoulder to shoulder. Pivot. That's it. Good. Pivot. Good. Now we'll go up, just stay with the cow's shoulder. So you can trot when the cow's trotting. If the cow walks, you have to walk. If it stops, you have to stop. Nice. So you're right up with that cow. Good, Denise. Loosen your reins a little bit and go forward, forward, forward with Elvis. Catch up to that cow. Try to keep him moving through those corners because when he stops, he gets a little sticky. Okay, there you go, Ren, and be ready to rotate your shoulder. You're going to pivot. No, don't, yeah, try to pivot parallel to the cow now. Parallel, instead of looking at it. There, oh, that's okay, he's escaping the other way. Good, Denise. This is where you can pivot Elvis back and forth. Do you remember that? And that movement of your legs moves the, moves the cow. So sometimes you just need a little keep him going. There. He's a little sticky now. Yeah, and he wants to be biting. Okay, that's right, Ren, get right next to the cow. Right next to the cow, but shoulder to shoulder, shoulder to shoulder. Get on the shoulder of the cow. Up, shoulder. Push away a little bit. You're a little too close. There you go. So just use your left leg to push him away without turning him. Does that make sense? Now if you stop, we'll keep him going around the corner. So go deep in the corner, trot, 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 trot. Chop, 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 chop. Go deeper in the corner, deeper in the corner. Go to the outside hip of the cow to turn him around the corner. Outside hip. There you go. Good. There you go. Okay, go to the corner. The shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. That's okay. Go to the shoulder. Stay with the shoulder of the cow. Keep following the cow. Stay on the inside. So, Denise, what we'll do to save this, we'll just go to the outside hip. Stay the shoulder of the cow. Stay the shoulder of the cow. So, you might run around there again. Do you know what I'm saying? So he might try to, so you might have to stay more on his shoulder to keep him from cutting across the arena there. This is it, Denise, good. I know, don't, yeah, there we go. Now stay with his shoulder, Ren, up to the shoulder of the cow, up to the shoulder, a little more, faster, 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 don't get closer, get further away from the cow. There, use that left leg, good. One more corner here, and then Denise is, actually stop right there, Ren. Denise, you're gonna go outside the cow, Go to the front of the cow, turn to the cow's head. Sit up, sit up. There you go, sit down, just keep your seat in the saddle. That's it. There, now come away, leg yield off. Leg, don't pull the rein, use your right leg. Bump, 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 right leg. And go to the front of the cow's head and turn and face that cow. Use your leg, so when you turn and look, that was good. He's a tricky little guy. We gave Sassy one of the harder cows to turn. If anyone wants to know why I have cow sticks, I would have just gotten kicked if I didn't have a stick and if I wasn't four feet away from my cow. <laughs> they kick out the back and out the sides. <laughs> Steve almost got his leg broken the first time. Uh, okay, take him down. And Liz, why don't you herd saddle the first time? And Ren, you're going to do the second round of herd saddling? Yep, a little closer. And you want your mare just to get some confidence, a nice loose reins, think forward, 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 forward. That's it, good. She's kind of got her ears in good. Um, keep having her looking at the cows a little bit as she goes around. Good. And you get a little closer on this side now. Now you can get closer to the cows, a lot closer. They're starting to walk up here. Come up here, circle one more time, just push this guy back in. Good job. Oh, your car is liking that. He's saying, yes, I can push them around. Nice. The next time you're going to go through the herd. So go ahead and post your trot. I find it's easier on a horse's back, gives them some rhythm, and it keeps our hands really quiet. And you can walk or trot through. I would maybe walk depending on how fast they start moving. So turn and go right through the middle of the cows. 
You can even do a sitting trot or nice and slow or a, a brisk walk. Ooh, look at his horse go. Yeah, she's going, I'm liking this now. Look at them move for me. What a difference from the first week. I love that. And go ahead, circle around, pick up the cows, put them into a group. Uh, well, don't turn around. Now your bum just went to the cows. Okay, always turn toward the cows. I know. I know. Then they're going to be close to actually take Max in and push him off the wall because she's going to have a little problem getting right in between the cows and the wall. Take him right off the wall there. She's going to be right behind you. Go around the cows, around to the wall. You want to go around the whole herd. Go ahead and trot Max. Trot Max. Trot Max. There. There. You know what she was doing, right? She was saying, move in there, cows. So that was not her being bad. That was the cows not going where she knows they need to be. You don't, you're really too far away. So Alyssa, get closer, closer, closer. Ren, when you get around to the letter B, you're going to STOP your horse. You're going to stop your horse over here. Get closer, Alyssa, closer. That's it. So go one more time and get closer on this side. This side closer. Come right now. Closer, closer, closer. Um, a bigger one with horns. Look for some of the bigger horns. Carol, you can just stay down there and hold. And just push them together a little bit more. See that one that's sticking out the outside edge? Push that one little cow in. You want to do a trot right to the head of that cow. And trot right up to that cow and stop. Yeah, push, push the cow that's hanging out to the right. Yeah. So push that cow in. So trot right up. Push it into the herd. A lot of times they'll wait till everyone's bunched together a little bit. They'll stop. Back. So we don't, yeah, so we're losing that cow. We want to push that cow in. The one, there we go. So push them back into that herd. Good. And when you're ready, then you want to stop and then back up again. And we'll back a little bit out to the outside edges. And which cow do you see that you want to go for, Alyssa? You see one? Good. So go ahead, find your cow. Bring out just a clean cow. If Ren has to, he'll come off the wall. If you get that cow isolated on the wall, that, now Ren, come off the wall. Off the wall. Face the other cows. There you go. Watch out the cows that are coming at you. Push them back. Push them back. Push them back. That's it. So when you come off the wall, Ren, don't, don't, you, your job is still to keep the rest of them from coming up. So, yes, you helped your, your teammate by turning, but then you've got to turn back right away. So it's like a game you have to have the eyes in the back of your head, because these two are sneaking up right behind you. There we go. Okay, so Ren's going to go in there. And um, Denise, do you want to come in on this side here? Yeah. And you're going to get one with um, a brown cow. And he's going to try to bring one cow by itself. That's it. See if your mare will get up there and get the one cow out. Good. There. Okay, Carolyn and, and Denise are going to move their horse's feet. So, Denise, Carolyn, be, uh, Denise, be ready. Shorten your reins, please, because you can't get off the wall if you need to really fast. Does that make sense? So, so you, sometimes if you're standing still, like if you're playing soccer and you're playing with dandelions, you're not going to be ready when the ball comes to you. So keep your horse moving a little bit, side to side. Just have him side pass one way, side pass the other way. So he's awake and facing the cows. So I say side pass, so he does not turn his side to the cows. He's staying on the job the entire time. That's it, Ren. Stay with your cow. Denise, go to that black cow. Denise, that's yours to turn back. Good girl. Turn that back. Turn that black one back. Good job. Now get off the wall. Back. Turn. Get out of the way, because Ren can right now go to the front of that brown cow. He might get it by itself. Good. Now Denise, that black cow is yours. Turn to that. Go to the wall. Now move. All the way. There. And Ren gets his brown cow. That's it. Go, go. Get, get away from the cow. Move away from the cow. So I would have gone in front of Carolyn because your cow is going to go around her and you would be chasing his bum down. Does that make sense? D do you know what I mean? Because then your teammate was a little bit in the way. So you could either say, Carolyn, face the cow because she could have turned the cow towards you and helped you or you have to go in front of Carolyn. There, stay with your cow and don't look at any other cow. Carolyn will turn back any black ones and Carolyn help him by stepping right. That's it. Now don't push the whole herd now, Ren. There you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wait till they settle down and come out to the front and see if you can get your brown cow a little bit by itself. Come in the front and go to the bum of your brown cow. There. Now, Denise, help him. There you go. Now, he tries to come back, so right here, so if you just turn like this and help him, your teammates can kind of make sure he doesn't. There we go. Now, who goes into hold will be... Go ahead and take your cow. Good. And we'll keep this cow down there. So, Alyssa, you're going to help him keep this cow down, and Liz is going to begin there holding the other cows. I'm going to get past the white line, though. So this time we're going to keep that cow down here. And it is, um, who's turn? Go to the wall. Who was the last first one in there? I think you were, right? It's your turn. Yeah, you, it's your turn though, isn't it? Because you've held for two times? Yeah, I think so. And then you're going to go for one with no horns. So Denise... The mid, yeah, there you go, to the middle a little bit. She's going for one with no horns. There's not many in there. Is there one or two? There, you go. take both of them. This guy won't stay down by himself. Whoopsie. Okay, so you guys are blocking. I can't take him through you guys, so come down to my side because he doesn't want to go through your horses. 
Okay, Good. push them back, that's okay. There we go. Now, who's the next one? Come all. Okay, watch out, sorry. Okay, Ren, stop, stop. Come toward me, Ren. Ren, Ren, over here. So choose one with really big horns, not the baby horns, it has to be a big horn. Denise gets a baby horn. There we go. You go push their hip. Choose one cow, look at your cow, don't look at any other cow. Which one is, you're kind of looking at a variety of cows as a partner, I can't tell which one you're taking. The one in the front or the one in the back? Which one? Okay, you got that one. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> and Ren's on this side over here and we back up and go to the middle so that when they're pulling them down the wall, we're not in their way. Uh-oh, someone's sneaking out. That's it, Ren. Good job. Denise? That oh, that's not one you want, is it? No, Both of these are not takers. Stop, stop, stop. Right. We'll push that one back. Push that one back. So the idea, Ren, is to just kind of be blocking this. And as soon as hers comes, then I have to jump off the wall. Look at that. Yeah, I know. It's hard to do. Do you see one there with no horns? That's it, good. Stay with your cow, but be sure you don't bring the whole herd up to your holders. Okay, Ren's gonna go in. Carolyn, come over for Ren. And Ren's gonna go in for a brown one. And Liz, get ready back here. Alyssa will babysit, or cow sit. Uh, she's going for a brown one. So go, go to the one on the far right if you can. Go right now. There, he's volunteering. That's right. Try to go in between them. There, that's it. Good. Step in a little bit. If your horse moves his feet, the cows will move. Good. Good. There, good job. Go right to the wall if you can. Because then you can, there you go. Turn that one and take that one. We'll turn the black one. Just stay on your brown. Just look at the brown one. Trot down with the brown one. That's it, good. And your teammates can help by moving forward right now. Move forward to the horse, cow's hip. There you go. And with your horse, that's right, stay on that cow. As long as your horse is moving his feet, the cow will keep moving. There we go. So Ren's going to stay here and cow sit. So we want, this one would have been too easy. We could have taken this one. Anyone with horns. So a cow with horns. You want to try to get one out. There, take that one down the wall. Trot. If it's trotting, you can trot. Okay, next person down here. We need somebody. Who's next? And back. There. Uh, Ren, which cow are you going to? Who's in? Who, um, we said br um, no horn? Yeah. Okay, Ren's going for no horn. You're holding back. Ren's got his cow. Who's in next? You're going to be going for um, brown. The next person in is brown. Denise, brown. Liz is right there. And Alyssa, you're ready to come back here. Ren's going to hold the herd. Liz, you'll start off and you'll take and you won't know the number. Steve will have a playing card. He'll flip over a playing card and he'll say what the number is. So it could be number five. So it means if you start with five, you go five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. Does that make sense? So you always go to the top of the numbers and then start back. Sometimes we, we'll find out if we're going to number with zeros because usually go zero to nine. You can do that. But we're, because we have, we'll be numbering up to seven or up to six, Steve. Probably up to six, right? And until your team of three is on this side of the white line, 
and when he says, time to go, he won't tell you the number to cross the white line. <laughs> when you cross, the first rider crosses the line, the time clock stops. We're not going to time you, but that's when the clock starts. And he'll say the number. So you don't get your number until the first rider's across the line and your time has already started. And he might say six. So the first cow to come across has to have be number six. So they have to come over in the correct order. And once they cross the line, they cannot come back. So you're only going to have three. Now this time we had people helping a little bit in the middle, right? And we can do that once. And then what we'll do is the extra people will be outside the arena. And you'll only have the three of you in here. Okay? And so we, we can try that. And sometimes you can sort with four people to start off with. And you can have an extra person just in the middle to make sure they don't come back across the line. <laughs> But you, still, you see how that game works. So one person is bringing the cow across, two are holding the herd, glancing over the shoulder, make sure this cow stays up here. You notice that the first cow where it wanted to come back. Once you got two cows there, they buddied up and they stayed more easily, right? Good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the gate over here. Oh, he's gonna bring those cows in. And so we'll, we'll push them. And Ren, your mare today, did you see her attitude, her ears? She was getting a little more aggressive. That was really nice. So let her go ahead and push the cows in, and then she gets the idea of pushing. So I would say her confidence went up about 120% today, especially going through the herd. Remember at the very beginning, she went through with a buddy. Today, she not only went through, she went through fairly aggressively. 